The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. The major stumbling block that we are facing today in our Christendom is purely the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher to be given to a male believer directly from the head of the church, which has to come from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, along with the training ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit to be thoroughly trained and equipped in all the word of the Lord. But rather than that, the spurious men who have come along for the sake of their belly and the men who have been agents of Satan as false teachers to influence the world with their false doctrine, not to believe in the word, is a major stumbling block in our pulpits that we need to throw them out. There are not enough men who can rightly handle the word of the Lord, nor they can know what is the word of the Lord to be rightly handled. There are not enough men who can know what is the term of the knowledge of dispensations. When Apostle Paul could clearly return and given for us the true information of Bible doctrine. And in the panoramic view of the end of human history written by Apostle John, who tells to us that one single word which is known as Armageddon, Armageddon, is a point where we need to require a lot of the history of knowledge to understand accurately, particularly the unholy trio, followed by the siege of Jerusalem, and then later on, the great darkness which could be shined in the light by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ appearance. Prior to that, abomination of desolations which will be found. And the one who has learned the doctrine can know what it is, even in the tribulation as well. But without having a proper knowledge about all this explanation of the word, certain men who stand in the pulpit assuming that their responsibility is to teach the morality of the lessons, to teach them to change the behavioral pattern of the believers by telling X, Y, Z in their mouth, and telling fakery some of the extension, particularly in my country like India where D. Dinakran was there, the fakery of his son, he tells that among the 24 elders who are going to sit before the Lord, his father is sitting there to judge the people. And when his sister or daughter has been died, they are telling that she has been turned into angel and she is roaming around in the, in the air of the heaven, the first heaven. And there are enough clucks to believe that cooked up stories. So that they should not lose the brand image of their market. Because people will fail to believe. And they want to prove to the point among those 24 elders, if his father is sitting one of the elders, then there will be sure, sure, sure root for heaven and for the gifts. That is what the rewards of blessings. By following this ministry so that they can sow money to this ministry and they can earn more money. And the way this fakery, these people, they are preaching and teaching, will really cause many people to stumble at the true importance of Bible doctrine. Just for some pieces of bread or for some handful of barley, this meant they have changed the glory of Lord to a lie. This meant they have given such kind of a false representation of the true word which could have been thoroughly assimilated or cognized when they are capable of sitting and studying the word of the Lord from the original language of the scriptures from a right pastor teacher who has been thoroughly given the bona fide gift who in return can be faithful to the word, faithful to the word, and faithful to the word. But today we do find many men who are not faithful. And they are not able to understand what a stricter judgment they will be given. 
simply if they could come to handle the word of the Lord without having proper knowledge in it. To such kind of a stricter judgment or a hard judgment will be the fate of such kind of a pastors who proclaim what is there and what is not there in the Bible. The only thing what they can proclaim is to cleanse their mouth, their words, their thoughts, their deeds, and try to live a good fellow believer in this earth. Even, unmoral, even an unbeliever, morally, he'll be absolutely great and right than this believer. And that's what they want to refine. And such kind of a pastors want to claim, like this Dejas Dinakaran or Paul Dinakaran, they want to claim that their father is sitting among the 24 elders to judge. And they are claiming that their daughter has become an angel, so anyone who's go, who goes under that ministry, they will be absolutely saved. And the people who are very well poor in my country like India, they are not only poor monetarily, physically, they are even poor spiritually. And that is no other case in any event, the client nation of USA. In any corner of the part of the world of the law, in any corner of the part of the world where there is no proper revolution of the word of the Lord, there the people are absolutely poor. And men neutralizing in the Bible doctrine follow the signs such kind of a great extension, they will come to the point whether it is man or whether it is God. Even this man who has been using the word of God to his own benefit will be highly exclaimed, highly honored, highly believed. Then the pure word of God which has to be taught to the inculcation of their soul and to erase all the stupid stumbling blocks from their mind. And that's the great problem what you're facing today in the dispensation of the church age. How much they are grieving and squelching Ladgar, the Holy Spirit, by not giving top priority for Bible doctrine in the pulpits, not giving a voice to the hearer of the word of the Lord, which could be preached under the mental ministry of Ladgar, the Holy Spirit. So that when they have been thoroughly trained in the word of the Lord and can concentrate upon the only one primary thing, which is Bible doctrine and not on the secondary thing, they have really caused many people to become a great error. And that great error and great liars are there in the ample to the core in our pulpits today. These great errors, which are no truth at all, have even caused many people during the period of Apostle Paul while he was at, while he was at alive in Second Timothy two sixteen through eighteen, that the rapture has been already occurred, the resurrection of the dead is already taken place, and they have been corrupting the faith of many, or the doctrine of many who still believe the rapture is not yet occurred, because we are still going along to evangelize the entire world to believe in the Christ. And on the second half given for an invisible hero, the greatest opportunity to grow in grace and in the knowledge of Bible doctrine. And this men, who are not having proper knowledge, proper enough information to rightly divide the word of truth, the great passage, what we find in 2 Timothy 2.15, followed by 16-18, through 18, like gangrene, such kind of a false doctrine which is being spread, is ample to the core, and the failure is... Purely, we don't have enough men who can handle the word of the Lord as it is from the original languages of the scriptures. That's why the youth have been failed. That's why the pastors have been failed. That's why the nation has been stumbling around. And that's why Satan is rampant to the core in supposed period to really diverse your thoughts from Bible doctrine. Lord will raise the pastor teachers who shall feed you with knowledge and with understanding, with thorough intelligence and discussion. Provided you are having the desire to look and to really obey, to love God's word as number one criteria in the life and to believe in the simple faith, it is God's word that shall align forever and forever, not the physical instances or the monetary world thoughts that are happening around. This monetary world thoughts, like as if the rapture has been happened, the scientific technology has come and that will lead into an eternal state and there will be no death, they are eradicating immortality, they are eradicating sickness. All such kind of a viewpoint without having proper base in the word of the Lord will cause you not to become an invisible hero. 
not to become a spiritual mature believer, not to become a spiritual resurrection in Christ, neither to come back to enter into that great spiritual life, spiritual self-esteem, of spiritual autonomy, and then by spiritual maturity. Your yeah, total obscureness from the positional sanctification where you have been made superior than to the chief fallen angel, Satan, at the moment of salvation by faith alone in Christ alone. And Satan knows very well, if you can grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine, experientially you will be greater than that. Because you are the one who are going to come back to rule with the Lord in the millennium. The Lord will appear with his saints and his holy myriads. And we are the saints who are going to come back with the Lord. And those saints who have attained the spiritual maturity to reach to the point of status quo of invisible hero or maximum glorification of Christ. And these are the saints which you and I need to understand what it is to be in the fellowship of love. God, the Holy Spirit to understand the Bible doctrine. And dear brethren, since Satan is cunning and the fables of it are very sharp, a man who is not in the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, can become an easy prey to that. As long as a believer in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ stays in the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to understand the word of the Lord as it is, so long there will be not an influence of satanic doctrine to your mind. And if there are no enough men who can train you up in the word of the Lord, that shows the place where there are no enough men to pray to the Lord to give the pastors who shall feed them with the knowledge of Christ and thorough desertion of Bible doctrine. And in return it shows if you are not praying that you don't have desire for Bible doctrine at all. You are living like an unbeliever in the morality but the Christian's virtue, which has to be translated or transformed into the spiritual resurrection of Christ to the sufferings which the Lord has given to us, is of great value, dear brethren. And we cannot sustain in this devil's world without the power of love, God, the Holy Spirit, without the knowledge which has to be renewed for us, though our outward man has been perished day by day. And this renovation of the thinking and living to the fulfillment of the spiritual resurrection of Christ, and getting back to the maximum glorification of our Lord by passing down the evidence testing, is of great value and great importance for a believer to attain. And that stumbling block could be easily erased, and can be easily controlled, to the praise of the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, when we are willing to obey, by faith and faith alone, the true words of Jehovah from a bona fide gifted pastor teacher. Therefore, in today's Christendom, we need to have men who can really handle the word of the Lord. Not your honest desire, but the way how our Lord God Almighty leads us by giving His bona fide gift to us when we are willing to thoroughly be prepared and faithful enough to handle the word no matter how the chips may fall. So, dear brethren, errors, Without the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit will do occur. But when we are there in the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, with the faithful subjection to His care, there will be no errors for you. Neither you will be led wrongly into astray. Lord will feed us in the green pastures when we are humble enough, when we are really obedient enough, and when we are really thirsty enough to know Thy Word. And if you, t if you want to play gimmicks with your own thoughts, being alienized by satanic views, never you will come to know and believe what is the word of the Lord again. And in return, you will use the word of the Lord again as a base, but you will proclaim with other definitions and meanings, which Bible has given for us in its reading manifest. So, dear brethren, which way you want to go, you decide. But remember, we all need to appear at the judgment seat of Christ. And at the judgment seat of Christ, we cannot go against the truth. If anything we can do, it will be for the truth. And what Bible has told, that will happen. Not rapture as had occurred in the year of our Lord 2015, what we are proclaiming this message of September 16th. Rapture has not yet occurred. Lord knows it is God's sovereign will then to happen the rapture. 
But right now, our number one priority should be to learn Bible doctrine, transform the word of the Lord into our soul from the page of the written Bible, and get back into our Christian mechanics way of life so that you can enjoy the experiential sanctification in Christ when you grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine. And to grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine, you need to be fed thoroughly from isagogical, categorical, and exegetical explanation of the word over the dispensing technique of dispensations. And that exegetical explanation of the word is what it has been lacking in our pulpits today. And that lacking has caused so many errors and so many claims which are not at all concerned towards the word of the Lord. So, dear brethren, which way you want to go, you think. Either you want to follow the science rather than the pure word of God, and rather you want to follow those scientific evidences which can cause you to think if your brain can multiply for 100% for itself because it is a myth that we are using only 10% of our brain. And if you can use for 100% of your brain, you can reach the status of resurrection and you will be nowhere because you will come to know life was 1 billion years ago. And now we know what to do with that life. That's what the claims will be. But dear brethren, no matter however the things are going, it is Bible doctrine that shall reign forever and forever. And Bible doctrine, though the heaven and earth will perish, his word will abide forever and forever. And it has been mandated for us with the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher that we need to be inculcated into the Bible doctrine more clearly, more authentically, and more like a joints and marrow, like the ligaments which will be taken care of by the point of joining each bone we need to be as that pastor who is going to make effectively the work of the ministry of a pastor teacher in the lives of the believers of the people so that they can concentrate upon bible doctrine and give number one criteria for the word of the lord dear brethren there are many things which satan induces to you because it doesn't want you to always grow up to the experiential sanctification wherewith you have been made superior than to the chief fallen angel known as satan and satan wants to look upon those things which bible utterly denies because satan loves and really gives you an opponent to become for bible doctrine satan loves lies and Satan doesn't want you to know the truth. So, dear brethren, which way you want to go, you decide. Lord knows the time and the occurrence of the rupture, when it is going to be. Not follow to believe such kind of a stupid thoughts. As such, the resurrection is very nearby. The things are showing the signs of end times. In fact, when some morons say that we are into the eternal state and we are we are eradicating death, man has been so slow now to eradicate the death. He has taken 2,000 years. That's what a pastor tells to me. And the scientific ends over the Roman Catholicism doctrine is very great. And they want to tell man has really lost. Now he has been putting the steps for cloning and he can eradicate death. He can live forever and forever. And this is the eternal life and this is the eternal state and this is the only heaven that is going to be. Such kind of a false teachers are been there, trained by Satan. Be cautious, know the truth. Search for a right pastor teacher and get an apply and secure your eternal life. And know the doctrine, the doctrine shall set you free. So in the next step, we shall continue our discourse. Which way you want to go, you decide. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that thou was given to our fellowship with thee through the word. We pray that, Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge our in Lord. Father, we ask in Christ's name, Father. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.